STS Ron Con in it computers.com author video party. Oi, I made a video where I showed you how to replace the hard drive in a MacBook Pro A1278 model. I think it's from the year 2010. It had a bad, well, bad, I'm not sure yet. It had a Samsung 128 gigabyte SSD drive, as you can see, and I have it hooked up. And now I'm going to show you how I recover the data. I prefer to use Linux to recover data. And so obviously I have it hooked up with the SATA. This is a SATA drive. And now I've got Ubuntu Linux booted up. I'm logged in as root just to make it easier. Sometimes there's a file permissions problem with Ubuntu and Mac hard drive. Sometimes if I log in with just a normal account in Ubuntu I can access files. Sometimes I run into a problem where certain folders I don't have permissions. So that's when I log in with the root account. So here's, as you can see, there's the Mac hard drive. So Linux automatically mounts HFS file systems. As long as the file systems are healthy, even if they are damaged Linux from my experiences recovering data treats Macintosh hard drives better the file systems then I even use Linux to recover data from Windows machines from Windows hard drives any you know a hard drive with Windows XP Vista 7 8 10 so I've had much greater success with Linux. This is just Ubuntu 14.04. It's entirely free. You can download it and install it on your own. As you can see, no problems. So I'm able to browse their, their hard drive. Now, they tell me that there's some data that they need. So I just, I'm testing. Okay. And so I'm able to browse the file system without any problems and should be under users okay and then there we go so there's their applications desktop documents this is the first time browsing their hard drive so their sensitive their data is sensitive to me in private so let me just move down or we'll just do this okay i'm able to see their their files let me show you some files that are not sensitive to show you what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can find any. Okay, these are all private documents. Maybe their desktop or maybe even their applications. How how about their applications? So let, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, when I log in on Ubuntu Linux with just a standard account, not without root privileges in the GUI. You can do this command line too. I just do the GUI cuz it's, you know, easy quick so what happens is if you do not have root privileges sometimes you cannot enter these folders you can get all the way to the the users folder on a Ma on an HFS Macintosh file system but then when you try to browse any of these you get access denied so that's when I log in with the root account even in the GUI so then we can go to the users new user and then we're just gonna go to the applications and then look no errors and so I'm able to now I know if, that I have the right permissions so now all I do is I open up another file explorer window open up a new window and then what I do is I have a customers folder let's see oh you know what since I'm gonna have to create a folder I forgot with the root account I don't have a customers folder so what I do is I just create a new folder we'll just call it customers Okay, and then what I do is just create a folder for each customer. 
like I said before, every once in a while, I have a file permissions issue. Most times I'm able to access all of their data with just a standard, you know, Linux account. Okay, so then we're going to call this Okay, I always name it just their first name, last initial. And then what you do is you go into this folder, and then we have this other folder here. So we can just go back, and then you just select, right click, and copy and paste. And you can do a command line too. You could go to a command line. I need to run. You can go to a terminal window. And since this is the root, oh, there, there it is. And then, you, if you know Linux, you can do cp commands. You know cp, and then you have to go to the folder, and then just just learn command line in Linux. You can have it copy an entire folder, all the subfolders, all the subfiles if with minus what is it? R I think, recursive, recursive copying or you can just, you know, use the GUI and just select files and folders. What I'm going to probably do is he told me there's some documents, but I also notice he's got some personal pictures and stuff. So if it's not and another thing you can do is you can go back to the sorry about that. You can go back to a, a main folder here and just right click it and click on properties and find out how large it is how much data now another thing that he did was which is excellent if you're you know starting a computer repair business even the first time you talk to your customers tell them you know bring a external drive or a flash drive so what they brought was, I think it's brand new, it's a Toshiba. Now you notice the sticker there? I don't, I think it's brand new. And un, un, unless he opened it up once and put the tape back, but boy, that's a pretty excellent job of putting the tape back the way it was. I think it's brand new, out of the box. So I just have to, and he gave it to me, not not to keep it for him. And it says, it says one terabyte, and it's USB 3.0, so that's going to be fast. And so, or if they bring you a flash drive, tell, tell them, because what's going to happen is they show up and then you tell them, okay, well, it could be a bad hard drive, could be corrupt file system. Do you have external drive? Do you have storage media? And they're like, oh, well, then they have to go make another trip to the store or they got to get a flash drive. I don't use optical media that's a waste of time. I never ever recover data and give it back to my customers on DVD. It's a waste of time. It takes forever. DVD drives, you sit on them, they get scratched. Even over time, they degrade. But an external drive is excellent. Or flash media. Now, the reason why I brought up the fact that to look to see how much data they have, look, it's only 43 gigabytes. That's nothing. I charge 80, believe it or not, I only charge $80 flat rate to recover data, but I charge a dollar per gigabyte. So since I'm already working on his computer, I will lower the price, but let's say he wanted me to just recover his data. I would charge 80 plus whatever he wants. There's only 43 gigabytes of data. That that's nothing. That's nothing. That won't take that long. I'm just gonna just in case the hard drive fails, and you never know, there might be other files that that him or his wife or his family needs. And so what I do is I just copy the, their entire new their entire uh, like profile because there could be something under their documents they need, which they do, or in their downloads they might change their mind, or in their library or pictures. And so since it's only 43 gigs, that's what I'm going to do. So I can just kick it off to show you what I do. So let's go back. And I'm just going to copy the entire folder. I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to copy. 
and then I'm going to go into this other window and I've already have Steve C and just paste and I should not get any errors it's going to take a little bit of while it's three you know depends on the speed of your computer just SSD drive just whatever but as you can see as I'm talking there's already almost a gigabyte so as long as none of the data is corrupt and I don't get any weird error messages I should be good to go if I don't see any error messages then this will be the end of this video if I get prompted with some weird permissions or some weird duplicate files or some weird messages I will append that to this video so that's what I do when I recover HFS Macintosh file system data from a Macintosh this came up that hard drive that SSD came out of a MacBook Pro and I use Linux this is Ubuntu it's entirely free and I've noticed that it easily mounts HFS Mac file systems just once in a while like I said you might not have all the permissions and that's when I log in as root Adios for now. I'm back. So here's one of those funky errors. Error while copying, blah, 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 blah. Turn off your phone, dot M4A. It could be the title. You notice how it's got, I think that's Chinese lettering or Japanese or whatever. I'm sorry about that. But whatever this foreign lettering is. And what I do is I just skip all. And then what I do is if, the customer requested that I get data from their documents folder and their writings, my writing. Well, I just go in there and make sure that I get every file. Then I will manually double check. You know what I'm saying? So for now, we'll just skip all. And there it is. So the, the, the data recovery is already completed. You can compare, right-click properties. It looks like it errored out at that one file. So what I do here, you notice the discrepancy, 5.5 .5 gigabytes versus 43, is I go back and I try to find that. I try it again, and then I try to find that file. I, I, I should have done that while I recorded to show you. What you would do is you would go back to the file system, and you can search oops files oh come on okay so you can do this use the search box and you would search for that file and either delete it or just move it since it's it's well it's the customer's data you can just move it somewhere locally and then put it back or rename it or something so that's it though this will be successful because I've done this before. You you just certain it could be the too many characters in the title, it could be the the foreign characters or a corrupt file. But all you do is what you do is in order to copy all the files to make it easier, you just go and find that file and then just move it or rename it or just I just move it. And then I kick it off again. But a lot of times I don't have these problems. A lot of times I can log in with a normal user account, access all the data, copy an entire user profile, bum, bam, I'm done. But sometimes I do run into these. I don't know what to articulate them as. Roadblocks. But life isn't perfect. Data recovery isn't perfect. You just learn. So that's how you, I recover data from Macintosh HFS file systems on Linux. Adios.